rock star. All right, yeah, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So we got, we, we got a uh, spot in this motherfucker. Oh, we about to get this motherfucker rocking and rolling. Make sure y'all ping up, man. We hit, hey, spotter, you hit that bottom right mic. Bottom right corner. Oh, my mama, mama, this really my first time on this clubhouse shit, man. I'm yeah. fucking with you. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Mm -hmm. we, we love to hear it. We love to hear it. We love to hear it, man. Y'all know what's going yeah, on, man. Right. You already got it. I don't know. I know. I know how this shit goes. It's a gang of voices, but yeah, no, no, no. So energy. look, so, so look, I'm, is, no. yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, we gonna get, holler, and then you know, I'm gonna let everybody else holler, get a chance to holler too. You feel me? All right. So, uh, you know, welcome to uh, Smut Free TV, my nigga Spider Loke in this building. You feel me in the building right now? Hip Hop Trans Clubhouse, the hottest content in these internet streets. Y'all know the rest. Shout out to my moderators on stage. Make sure y'all ping up, ping up. Let people know what's going on right now. Share the stream. We live on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know what's going down. You know what I'm saying? Spot of low finally pulled up on Clubhouse, nigga. Come fuck with the low. You know what I'm saying? So, it, it, it's, it's been a lot going on. And, uh, you know, let's be real, bro. Like, so, me and you, we got, you know, when we hollered, like, you know, I tried to holler at you back then. You wasn't too sure. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm like, cuz, come fuck with me, cuz, but you like, you not feeling the temperature. Right. Based on not just the fact that I know how this shit go. It ain't no real uh, fine lines drawn. But just based on you was a homie and your affiliation seemed to be like up and down with dude. It wasn't that, it's like you was willing to tolerate the ups, the downs, the ins and outs. And that seemed like family closeness. So, I didn't think that you was a nigga that ran across him, was giving him a chance, realized he was boo-boo, and left him alone. It seemed like you realized he was boo-boo and you would still tolerate him. I got a homie from my hood that fuck with him that tight, and I don't put him in a position where he got to choose. But based on the fact we had really collaborated, I didn't know we had a throwback picture from way back when I was bald-headed. You feel me? I'm thinking I'm meeting you brand new, and I didn't want to forge no relationship brand new based on the fact y'all was fucking around like that. And I knew we was throwback, and don't charge it to my heart, charge it to my mind. I've been around a minute. You just sent me the receipts. I see how far we go back, and I remember that moment. But these last couple of years, I couldn't place that moment that we had back then, Crip. That's a hundred. That's a hundred. That's a hundred. Uh, so yeah, we hollered. You know, uh, Alex put us on the phone. Feel me? We chopped it. You feel me? And you know, we got the shit straight. You feel me? I think we got a bad. I don't know if you got a better understanding of me and what I do and what I'm trying to do in this after I, today. I really don't. I just know you a homie with somewhat of a presence online. From my understanding, it's kind of like the sun and the moon. You kind of got your shine by being up next to him, and I understand the nigga. See, but that's what you assume. That's what yeah, you assume. Yeah, I told you, I'm not. I'm not really aware. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind and, 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 and listen, and listen, Race and I can up. give cuz I can give cuz his props too, cause he probably did open me up to a bunch of niggas who probably didn't know about me. From this you point know? forward, I mean, in the last couple of years, that don't mean you wasn't already building and establishing yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah. But as far as your 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 immediate household name type awareness, the average person gonna attach it to him. Whether you made it happen or he made it happen, you kind of like been introduced in this new way next to him. You feel me? Listen, I take it in. I take the good with the bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I just keep it cripping. So when I run up against you and realize you over there, I just go around it. I could have been, as much as I troll cuz, and as much as I see how you rock with him, I could have been made you a target. But that ain't what I'm into. So, you know, time kept ticking, and we got a chance to politic, communicate, and you know it is what it is. It ain't really got nothing to do with me. You and him had y'all incident yesterday where he yeah. flipped the script on you. You feel me? I'm just a homie. I've been a homie. I ain't never jumped in your business. And now that it's some room for us to have some clarity, I'm right here like a homie. That's all. Yeah, that's real. That's real. All hood, all hood. So let's get into it, man. Yeah. Uh, you know. SBI, SBI, where do we start, man? I'm following uh, your lead, bro. I, everybody tries to tell me, shut up, get back, <laughs> cut people off. I'm trying to practice that. So no, no, I want to go back. I want to go back for people that don't know. You know what I'm saying? You was a, uh, you was affiliated. You was signed to death row at one point, right? 
I was affiliated, never really signed, but you could say, yeah, I was down with the camp, the road. Not death yeah, row, we talk about road. the old death row, yeah. The road, the road. It was oh, the road. road. This is where corrupt came, the president. You there? SBI. Hit your bottom mic, your bottom My right bad, mic. The road. Not death row, the road. Yeah, yeah, that's when corrupt was president, right? He was vice president. It was crooked eye, yeah. booyah tried, corrupt, Eastwood. Uh, Gail Gotti, uh, her sister, Queen, that was the main people I can remember this one. Left Eye came through there. That's the shit. Yeah. I remember the, uh, I, I'm actually familiar. Look, see, you don't even know how far I go back. Nigga, I was out there in Reseda, nigga, at that studio, nigga. Uh, 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 Swiss Blade Sisters, the Swiss Blade Sisters. You remember that? Yeah, that, yeah that's, that's, that's Gail Gotti and Queen. Yeah, one of them from 6 or something on Crip. Nigga, they picked me up on Chris on Sloss and brought me way out there to the studio. I got this West Boulevard nigga. I rap for Corrupt. I rap for all them niggas up in that motherfucker. They was fucking with me. Yeah, though. that's where I'm from. Um, Corrupt was fucking with the young niggas. What they was calling themselves, Roscoe Crew. Oh yeah, YA, 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 yeah, YA. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. My nigga Tristar from from Mona. Where yeah, from Tristar. Tristar. He from Corrupt. Yeah. He said what? He from Corrupt or Mona? He from one of them. I think. Tristar, I, yeah, I think he might be from Boulder. He yeah, might be from, he from one of them, though. Yeah, but yeah, I feel yeah. your energy from the picture. I know yeah. where, I remember that shirt I had on. So I know what time frame we've been tapped in from. I love my bad. <laughs> yeah, Chris. Oh, me. So I was just like, you know, uh, so that, bro, so what happened after the row? What, what, where? You said well, you wasn't officially signed to them? Yeah, I had got presented a couple pieces of paperwork by shit. But Sugar was on this janky shit at the time. Really didn't have nothing to offer. And I didn't bite on the contract. And then shortly thereafter, I asked Sugar to take me off his website because I didn't really want to be affiliated with his brand no more. But we were still personally super cool. But from a business perspective, I realized it wasn't serving me justice to be affiliated with him. So I asked him, could he take my likeness off his website? He did just what I asked. And then just up to coincidence, cause I met the New York niggas like very shortly after to the point where I was so glad I had separated myself from Suge and didn't have to worry about doing it once I met him. But when I took the courage to ask Suge to take me off his website, I had no idea I was going to meet them niggas like in the next couple of weeks. I had no idea. It was just stepping out on faith. And then I had no idea I was clearing up my next level of communication where I didn't have to explain myself. Yeah, that's uh, okay. So you and Suge, what's y'all relationship right now? It's 100. The only negative thing me and Suge ever encountered was at one point right before he caught that case, and I was obviously on the back burner before 50 made it. Obvious, he didn't give a fuck about me. Suge finally jumped ship. And, and and was burning a G Unit T-shirt up online, and I took it. That's a song called "I'm a Crip" with me and my cousin J Love from Fresno, Six Dudes Diamond. And I said a few lines like, "Laughing at Shug burning shirts on the YouTube, the low couldn't slang his rope chain on eBay." But I, I took shots at Shug because he burnt up that G Unit T-shirt on camera back then. But he caught that case, and then it was obvious. The New York niggas wasn't giving a fuck about me no more. So it was like a little issue that never happened. So outside of that, I ain't got nothing bad to say about Suge. My whole interactions with Suge throughout the years been real player, real cool. You know, when I met Suge, he had a bad rap. So I approached him with a whole lot of apprehension and being suspicious and defensive for him to come at me a lot of goofy ways. And he never did none of that. So I think had I not heard all the bullshit about Suge, and just treat them regular, I probably would even had a better experience out of Shug. But you know, when I met him, you expected all the bullshit you heard about. So you come in there with such a chip on your shoulder, you and Shug never really get a chance just to be comfortable around another. Because the two years I was around, I was still trying to show him I'm not the one. You feel me? Okay, okay. So after the row, you what happens after the row? I walked away from the row. And very shortly after, it's a blur now. I can't tell if it was two months, three months, or if it was four weeks. But it, I believe it was a, a matter of a few months because I went out of town. I was in Atlanta trapping. 
with a nigga from uh, Watts. And we was going to do our independent hustle, get our own money, and put ourselves out shit. And in the process of that, I bumped into Young And I, I Young Buck was impressed with my rapping skills to the point where he invited me to come to the Shorty Won the Ride video in California, which was scheduled for a couple of weeks ahead of that time. So a couple weeks later, I flew from Atlanta back home, went to the video shoot, and met 50 Cent. And did some acapella rapping for him. And that's when he offered me the situation. And that's how that shit took off. Hey, was Young Buck ever banging East Coast? 97th Street, yeah. And and now he from 60s? Well, he not from he was never from 97th Street or East Coast. <laughs> and he's not from 60s. But at one point, because what he was putting on the table for me, as far as my dreams coming true. One of his dreams was to be affiliated with a real L.A. gang, and I was doing an even trade. Even though I had the authority to turn it on for him, I didn't just turn it on and stand on it by myself. I brought Young Buck to the hood, let him hang with my homies, had my homies come pull up on him in hotel rooms when he was out here. So I was helping him establish a relationship with the homies for real. It wasn't just like he was claiming the hood around me, and that was all the end of it. No, I was helping him get saturated with the set, it didn't go that far, and as you know, he switched, <laughs> turned six on. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, so he introduced you to Fifty. I mean, that yes. is okay. So and I'm forever that. grateful for that. But at one point, when my shit was getting confusing, and Fifty had me on the back burner, and Young know, Buck fell out with Fifty at one point, and he was saying, "So hold on, was, was you always around while Gabe was there, or?" No, when I first came around, Game was still around, but when Game saw me come around, he immediately was advising me I was in a crumbling castle and I shouldn't join in because all this shit was over with. And he was trying to steer me away from it. And of course, I was assuming that was him hating. I had no idea that the castle was really finna crumble, but I wasn't going to run off on Game advice, no way. No, okay. Yeah, that's crazy right there. I always wondered, nigga, like, you ain't really ready to interview me like you've been acting like, nigga. <laughs> no, nah, nigga, I'm, I'm freestyle with this shit, Spotty. You feel right. me? We gonna have fun. You know what I'm don't saying? Don't nah, Man, nah. Fuck it and rock it to it. Nah, 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 nah. We, we, we going back. I'm just saying, like, for the people that don't know, a lot of people don't know nah, this do shit. do your shit. I didn't mean to fuck your flow up, my yeah, nigga. Yeah, a lot of people don't know this shit. shit. So... I'm, I'm talking about the whole uh, <clears throat> how you met 50. You know what I'm saying? Buck introduced you to 50. Yeah. yeah. And, and so what happened? And I, it's something I would be eternally grateful to Buck for. However, at one point when he fell out with 50 and he tried to convince me to jump ship and say fuck 50 and run off with him and he was trying to be cool with all 50 enemies, I was just telling him, man, I'm cool. I ain't fucking with that, bro. Do your thing. And in order... For him to pull his ace out of the hole and try to convince me to follow his lead, he told me this. Hey, man, 50 told me a year ago he wasn't going to put your album out. So right then and there, I knew you ain't no good. At least for 12 months, I ain't been able to trust you if you do this a year ago, nigga. So that's how Buck told his ass with me. That's why I lost all respect and loyalty to Buck when he told me he'd been on for a year that 50 had no intentions on putting me out. And me and him been thugging it every day for that year. Fuck you, nigga. All right, so, okay, game leaves, and you up next? Well, yeah, that was the basically the way it was projected. Um, but then, you know, in came Hot Rod, and here came Mob Deep, and then they basically got a look, and I never got one. But that's what it was when I met him. He was in the process of getting the game project off the ground, and I was supposedly next. But even before that, uh, Yayo got off, Bass got off again, and Buck got off again. I think 50 got off again, too. So, you know. Because, look, look, it seemed like when we was looking from the outside in that you was kind of like a pawn because game left, and he throw this crip out here like, hey, ha-ha. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I mean, you know, but you classified that perception 
from somebody looking from the outside in. Yeah, and I no. can't knock that. No, but you just clarified that he was already, I, he was I, I, there I, when you came. He was oh, yeah, already but, there. But, but still, I can't knock that. I know it looked like that. You feel me? Yeah. I know it looked like that. But you got to balance that with the fact that throughout the whole bullshit, 50 always asked, advised, and counseled me not to get involved with no dissing game. So if that was his actual intentions, I'm telling y'all, he told me not to get involved. No, that's a hundred. But you a game already had a history prior to G Unit, did y'all not? Yeah, he was already signed to Aftermath, but he was on the back burner, frustrated when we met and we became cool. And yeah, we were already will be considered homies or partners or whatever by the time he even met Fifty Cent, let alone got invited to join G Unit. Yeah, we was already partners. You know, we stayed at walking distance from each other. I stayed in Track New Hood. He stayed in Cedar Hood. The only separation between us is really the Compton Airport. If you could walk the distance of the Compton Airport, then walk from Wilmington to Willowbrook, you know, that's just, you know, for a young nigga, if you really got to get there, that's walking distance. Hell uh, yeah. Did y'all, did y'all fall out? Did y'all, I mean, where y'all relationship at? We don't really have a relationship. You know, the industry caused us not to have a relationship. Um, we got caught up in rap battling, beefing, trolling each other. You know, somebody that he's, something he's known for doing. He's known for getting over all the issues with everybody else he's had them with. But when it come to me, it's a little different. When you make a nigga cover up tattoos and shit like that, they take the shit a little more personal. You feel me? So I still don't give any more fucks than I gave back then, even though I ain't got no problem with him. I don't care about kissing no ass or making no friends either. It's still fucking, but I'm not looking to do nothing to him. But I've never seen him do nothing that I can respect. Even into these most recent years, the those have been doing queer though shit. If it wasn't writing love letters to neighborhood Nip, rest in peace, wife, and doing albums trying to sound like Nipsey and naming his company prolific, we can go from that moment back. He been doing weird shit all the way through. So it's hard not to still laugh at cuz. Uh, yeah, so what happens, because, um, I mean, when you get with you and you hop on the soundtrack to the Give It To Die Try, right? Yeah. You know, on the Give It To Die Try, yeah, I ain't going to lie, you had a bang on there, I like this. Good look. You said what? Oh, you said good look. Yeah. But yeah, but, so you hopped on the soundtrack, I mean, you had a look, what happened, like, what, what, what happened that didn't kick for you over there that you was <laughs> like? At this point, you got to take it. Um. The answers that you're seeking out of my hands and ask the person making the decisions. I'm I'm confused. This is, I'm just as confused as the masses on me. Okay, for sure. So when when you depart from there, I mean, Fifty, how's your relationship with Fifty like? It's non-existent. We never had a problem. We never had a beef, a disagreement, or nothing. He ceased communicating with me. He never said goodbye or told me our business situation was over. It just faded away, and that was it. So when you think that that's your homie and you ride together, and then a nigga just do that, you know, just out of intelligence, you know where it is. But I can't say we never had an argument, disagreement, a bad situation, no disloyalty, no disrespect. Just him being in the position he was in and the position I was in, the way he allowed the communication to cease without no acknowledgement, it is what it is. And you know what he taught us? You're getting money, y'all can't get none with you, then fuck you. Yeah, yeah, Ain't yeah. Ain't that what he taught us? Hey. <laughs> oh, come on, man. That's what he come said. On. Look, yeah, that's what he yeah, said. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, I don't know he taught us to do that. Yeah, yeah homie, that's what he said, so. Mm -hmm. But no. Hey, so so after 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 G Unit, what is spotted? What, what's your next venture after that? What what do you steer in? Like how but, like? Well, um, I have seventeen year old and two fifteen year old sons. Okay. So if you do the math, they was born right around that time frame. So more so than G Unit, which was only like a two year span of my whole life upon this earth, I became a father of men back then. And unlike being a father of women or females, 
I realized I had the responsibility of setting an example of how other humans were supposed to carry themselves. And being fully invested and not only being spotted low, but being baby spider. And the fact that I didn't have no major motion with my career, I made a decision to step out of that character to be a different person in front of my sons. So I really stepped away from the game for like seven years and just was simply a father. I was no rapper, no nothing. And um, that's basically what I did when the G unit shit faded away and didn't pan out. That's what I'm saying. So leading up to this, getting into this game, the space, the YouTube and shit, like how did that come about? Well, after that seven year hiatus, and my boys got to be young men, and I got to having that itch. I told them, look, your daddy know how to pretend to be the coldest gangster out here, and it might be some money. I'm still your goofy, corny daddy, but if I can go and pretend and get some money, do I got y'all permission? They was like, yeah, yeah, daddy, go. I said, you might see me doing shit that ain't, that's out of my character, but I'm just pretending. So I tried to jump back in the game, and, you know, I was getting my feet wet, doing a little independent shit. Just linked up with Neighborhood, Nip the Crip. And a few months thereafter, my nigga passed. Kind of lost my spirit for this shit again after that. But I kind of stepped into the CEO position too. Just trying to be practical. Shout out Blue Smurf, Nate Nitty, uh, Nooney Green, my artist, and Do Rock Creep. So it's, you know, a combination of a lot of things, bro. You can kind of tell, like you said, from the outside, looking in, the ups and downs my career took. And then it's a thin line by sticking with it and then sticking with it too long so a nigga was just trying to jump back on the scene establish a presence and of course like Nipsey told me it start with the music but in the process I stumbled upon this new field that's cracking open that everybody doing which we call podcasting and I think my skill set and the way I've been gifted as an individual I think my skill set translate into this field similar as I thought it did to the rap game. So I'm just, you know, putting my shit out there like everybody else. You know? And do you feel like it's paying off now? You're a host on No Jumper. I'm not I mean, a host on No Jumper. How you feel about that? I, I'm not a host on No Jumper. I appreciate that perception due to the fact that Adam has re- called me back multiple times. But those are just individual invites to be there one at a time. That's not indicating a, a reoccurring spot. But just the fact that me being active not only you know, caught the attention of someone like Adam 22, also caught the attention of Alex Alonzo, Tyreek Nashi, and other people that I respect. And they've helped me realize that I may have a future or a pocket that I could fall in in this shit. So them the people that I respect in these pockets, niggas like Kev Mack, you know what I'm saying? Even Big Court from Home Court Podcast. These are people that have been successful in this lane that let me know I got something to keep smashing on. So that's what I smash with. No, for sure. But see, what people don't know, Rockstar, I graduated high school at 17 and went to Alabama to go to preacher college. So this is what I, this is, if, if, whether no matter what I end up saying, from day one, I've been ordained to open my mouth and tell the truth. That's what I'm supposed to be doing in some fashion. So however it end up coming out, whether it's preaching, rapping, podcasting, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop my shit, facts over feelings. No, that's a fact. That's a fact. So, um, you you friends with 40 Glock, right? I don't have no friends, really, but no, nah, me okay. and 40 Glock ain't cool. Oh, y'all not cool, right? But y'all used to be cool? Yeah, right? we used to be cool. I tolerated cuz for a long time. Okay. I always wonder about that, you know, the whole block off the Lil Wayne shit. Yeah, that was a lick that, you know, 40 Glock saved me from doing something very reckless and irresponsible that day. You know, before going live like we're going right now was a common thing. Back then, going live was unheard of. And 40 Glock was ahead of technology. He had a phone called a kite phone, K-Y-T-E. And with the kite phone, you can go live immediately like we do all the time. And before we went around the corner to even confront them niggas, he was going live to his audience. And we had a big argument and debate by me trying to tell him not to go live. But why we went over there and there was so uh, little to no activity was because everybody over there that was going to get active 
was pointing at him going live and didn't want to do nothing. So that's why we look like a whole bunch of goofy niggas that was just making noise because he was going live and didn't nobody want to incriminate themselves on 40 block camera. I was upset with it back then, but as I matured and look at it in the long run, it was the best. He did some whole shit and it really saved us because niggas could have showed out, did some bullshit and caught some cases. No, for sure. <laughs> For sure, for sure, man. I'm going to open up the flow, man. I'm going to open up the flow. We got Spot Loke in the building, man. Smut Free TV, Hip Hop Trends Clubhouse. You know, we live and direct right now. Make sure you following all the mods on stage. Make sure you sharing the stream. Y'all in the chat going crazy right now. Y'all know what time it is. We're going to keep it rocking and rolling. If you ain't got no questions, man, please just say pass. Don't have me yelling your name. Before you do that, Rockstar, let me tell you, I got a lot of people hitting my text messages and my DM telling me, you being all cool, cool and creepy and cool with me, but you finna flip it and be back cool with whole no money. Man, damn, knock it. I'm just telling you. Listen, my shit. nigga, but <laughs> if you gonna pay attention to that, my nigga, <laughs> then you don't even need to, stuff. you, you feel me? Doubt, like, bro, and listen, we on here, that. This, listen, I give everybody a fair shot to come on this platform, niggas, no, cuz, right. you feel me? Go like, we hollering. Open your panel up, open it up. All right, niggas about to come holler, all right. Elena, you got a question for SBR? No, I ain't got no question. Much love to you, Spot Love. I appreciate you, little mama. Thank you. All right, Thrasher, what it do? You got a question for SBR? Yo, what's good? You can what's hear me? Happening? What's happening? Yeah, what's happening? Yeah, yeah. No, I don't got no question, but shit, yeah. Niggas, I remember when I was younger, you used to be up at that Gardena swap meet. Me and my little brother had, uh, got an autograph from me. And we know you've been solid, right. so yeah, yeah. Shout That's out to you, bro. That motherfucker yeah, yeah. closed on Tuesday. Yeah, I know that motherfucker <laughs> like the back of my hand, my nigga. Oh, me. Oh, me. Yeah, yeah. shout out to you, bro. Keep doing your thing. Back at you, Brody. Hey, y'all got my nigga KK from the hood. KK. Yeah. What it do? You want to holler at SBR? Uh, yeah, I got a question, G. Yeah, there we go. I just, <clears throat> I just want to know, like, you, I watched the interview with y'all niggas earlier, right? Uh-huh. And, and, and this is my whole thing, and I don't mean this in no disrespect. Why does it take, because I heard you tell the homie, oh, you been one to give him his flowers, you been one to do X, Y, and Z, but why did it take him and Wack falling out like this for a nigga to finally be able to come on the nigga's platform? Man, great question. Great question, because first of all, as you quoted me, you misquoted me. I didn't then want to give him his flowers. What I said is, I fuck with all Crips off top to a certain level. But when your homie got at me, which he can um, testify to a few months ago about an interview, we didn't have no yeah. audience. It was just me and him communicating, and I kept it real with him and told him I want to do the interview. What I tell you, though, Rock Steve, you tell you. Yeah, oh, no, no, I, I know that. I, 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 I know that. I, so, I know that. I so, know that whole part. so that's why that's why I stayed away. And then it wasn't me reaching out to him today while we got together. You know, we all fuck with some of the same people. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, and yeah. on the back channel, you know, more sounder minds. Just saying, it might make sense for me to get a homie to listen. I just had an open mind. I understood what stopped us from collabing in the past. Now, I wasn't you, now you see how you, you see. You see you, you see how you just said you don't mind giving a homie a listen? Uh-huh. I feel like that's the same shit a nigga could have said whenever he thought or assumed that a nigga was that buddy buddy with whack. Like uh, that was I, I feel like that was I feel like that might have been a nigga chance right then and there for you to understand the full breakdown of what the fuck was really going on. What I'm trying to tell way, you, KK, I told him that privately and our conversation went the way it went to where he didn't yeah. clear it up or correct it. I told him that respectfully. Why well, I didn't want to cross yeah. my brand. And cuz didn't say well, Cause, why, I why, mean why? I understood. I understood. He left it at that, okay? He left it at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, nah, that's cool. I ain't, I ain't mad at that. Yeah, and I never you see, <clears throat> I never came at cuz, spoke on him foully. Matter of fact, you know what I told him back then? I told yeah. him, you know what, I'm gonna do the interview anyway. We just never got to it to be honest with you. I told cuz I was gonna do it. Am I lying, cuz? Yeah, I think you did. Oh, uh. I told him after I explained myself and all that, he explained to me it wasn't what I thought. I told him, you know what? I'm going to still do it. But we never really got around to it, though. I feel where you're coming from. 
But if you know yeah, yeah, nah, the yeah. way old boy over implicate himself in our politics, bro, when I see, I, bro, trust me, yeah. I know, nigga, like I, I that's know, why I but that's quick. why I'm. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. yeah, no, nah, go ahead. No, no, nah, nah, I'm just saying. Quick. I trust me. I know. I'm a nigga yeah. that know. You know, I got. You know, he stayed throwing a couple of my homies' name around. That shit is about as flim flam as you could imagine. But to the YouTube world, it sounds like something. But imagine me trying to drag them niggas on here to prove that. So right. he fucked with the homie. I don't know the homie that well. As I, I did know him, but I didn't realize that. Before I jump online, have a problem with a crip, I just let him have that relationship. And then, you know, you see, full circle, we keep it cripping. I ain't judging by that. No, he politicking. Whack provides opportunities and benefits to a whole lot of niggas. And real niggas fuck with him until the benefit run out. He ain't got shit else to offer. That's a fact. That's a fact. Oh, yeah, what we all? Bolo. Just keep doing your shit, bro. That's it. Appreciate you. Uh, We got Shaniqua. Shaniqua, what it do? What it do, SPI? What up, baby? What that town business like? You know, I already know that. Mm -hmm. I rock with them, so you know, I don't got nothing to say, but you know, I'm juiced that you know, I'm here. Shaniko so be here every night with us, SBI, you ain't even know. <laughs> look, look, what you don't know is the only thing I know about Clubhouse is what she come and tell me, so that's that's my ears off. She be all through this motherfucker letting me know what's yeah, happening. Yeah, that's the old girl, though. She's that's crazy. my nigga, yeah. Uh, and no, and much love. And no, and no. Hey, hold on, Rock. You did, and no. Rock, you hear me? Yeah. Hey, hey, spy. You know. Hey, wait, wait. Hold on, you know. Hey, spy. You hear me? This KK. KK, talk to him. Hey, and then listen. Like I said, like I, I understand why a nigga probably felt like you know what? I ain't even coming on Clubhouse. I ain't doing that shit. Fuck all that. But like I always tell niggas that be saying that, bro. Yes, nigga. That all that shit you was thinking and all that shit you that was running through. Yeah, you was mm. you was dead on point about that shit. Mm. But it's not this room though. You okay. feel me? So, so like, it's like when the media, it's like when the media and everybody get a hold of what's going on. Y'all gotta think, bro. We be running rooms like a motherfucker, bro. Y'all only hear the bullshit, nigga. That might be the fourth day out the week that y'all got that clip. So when everybody hear that shit, y'all ain't even heard the, the Monday room, the Tuesday room, the Wednesday. Nigga just heard that Friday room that where it just sense. went chaotic. You feel what that I'm saying? Sense. I ain't never thought crazy. of it like that, but that makes sense. Though, you gotta bro. think, like, I mean, we, it's already, it's already in the, it's already in the past. But if a nigga go ahead and look at all them timestamps, a lot of them rooms is weekend rooms, bro. Mm. It's every so often that one might go crazy on a fucking Tuesday night where we just chilling, nigga. Like every interview this nigga do, it don't get interrupted or be on no fuck shit. Like if we holding a room. At that late where that nigga be on here, nigga running the hallways, then that's what's bound to happen. You right, feel what I'm right. saying? So it's like we be on this motherfucker to know, we be on this motherfucker enough to know, like, all right, bet if we jump on here this time, we know this was gonna pop. If we on here at this time, we can get whatever we gotta get out the way. So that's why I be saying, like, nigga, sometimes nigga, we ain't we choose when we wanna be on that type of shit, but major, majority of the time, nigga, we in this motherfucker cooling like a barbershop half of the time. Like well, that I ain't none of that shit. Him. As an introduction, this little session been smooth as fuck, so I feel it. Hey, hey, KK, but you can't really tell by YouTube because the YouTubers they they post. I know YouTube, that voice. I know like, that like, voice. Like sporadically, you know what I mean? Like, nigga. <laughs> nigga, this my boy. It be clip, it be clip, babe, man. Yeah, oh, but no, 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 but 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 when they post it to YouTube, it don't be posted in real time. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and that's what I'm saying. Like, so I, I understand why niggas feel like how they feel. Like, you feel me, right. like, bro? I, bro, Munchie. Munchie, I told you, nigga, when you didn't even have a club, I told you, bro, this motherfucker go crazy, whatever the fuck, but woo, woo, woo. hey, download this shit, bro, this shit low-ball jokes. Hey, no, but see, I got I, on this I, motherfucker. I told you from the jump, and nah. I was new to it when I told <laughs> I, you to come I, on. Hey, 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 no, hey, 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 hey. Hey, no, I got on this motherfucker cause, cause Slim, Slim had passed away and, and Kitty Rose on that uh so honey summer and he just fell off and I ended up staying on that motherfucker. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna get back to the questions. Get back to the questions. Uh and no, and no. If you wanna come off your mic. <coughs> if not, I'm keeping moving. Sticks. No, I don't have no questions, bro. All right, South Side, South Side Ronnie. No, I'm good right now, bro. For so, sure, buddy. <laughs> Buddy Richards. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right, for sure. Big T, Big T. What it do, what it do. Hey, Spy. 
What I it do? You got the um, symbolism of blue on your Instagram. What's that? Um, like a nonprofit you got going on or something? No, I just I'm a true blue low. So <laughs> as I mature, I look for deeper, deeper meanings in the words that I attach myself to before I force myself to let them go. So when I looked up the deep meaning of blue and saw all that depth in it, I realized I didn't have to let blue go as I matured as a man. So instead of blue being all about ignorant cripping. If you read my, my bio, that's what blue represents to the whole world. If you go look in the dictionary. So I just attached that definition. I salute that, man. And this Mr. That. Blutiful. This nigga is this yeah. nigga made a song called Blutiful, Craig. Come yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw yeah, that's that's great intellect. That that's still yeah, what I appreciate. <laughs> hey Spider, tell him about the the the, the, the Crayola. And then hey, hey, fifteen Rob, years yeah. after I branded the word beautiful, some gang bang we, we Christian. Get through, I got a question for him. I just thought go, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go hey, ahead, go hey, ahead. Oh. See, see, I don't seen your shit a few times, but I ain't never just lock all the way in on it. Uh -huh. But see, I, I I like the way you do your shit. Um, the way you and Rock did y'all interview today. You know what I'm saying? I like that little style right there. You know what I'm saying? That was right different. On. But but I don't. See, I, I couldn't really catch it because when I, when I watched No Jumper, you had a different strategy. So what what that about? Well, I'm not sure what was different in the strategies. I've been on No Jumper a few times recently. If you can give me a better idea of what I was talking about or who he I was probably talking about. You're not as comfortable yeah, as you Yeah, is. it's like you oh, be no kind of like a guideline type shit. Like you be at No For, Jumper. Following the strip type shit. Yeah, versus like, well, like you, know, you know, just freestyle. If that's the case, if, if you pick that up, you might have picked up me being in somebody else's house, trying to figure out what was a, a, what was cool, trying to fit in with a group of people I wasn't extremely comfortable with, and just trying to play my part versus being in my own castle doing whatever the fuck I want. So that might be a thin balance being thrust into a group setting, trying to you know coexist with a, some people you're not familiar working with. So you probably saw that dynamic playing out in real time. So. How, I mean, how hard would it be for you to, um, like, blend in with what they got going on? It depends on how many invites I end up receiving. You know, I'm not a regular there. Like, they've had a chance as a group to kind of like. No, nah, no, nah, he ain't lying. Because, look, I done been on there numerous times. And I feel like, you know, I didn't get really the hang of it probably to the second, third time. You know what I'm saying? Coming up in there, motherfucker. So. And then whatever, yeah. you know, you never know exactly what's being looked um uh, what they're really looking for from you you just there doing your thing you don't you, you just there so i i don't know yeah he ain't lying he I, ain't lying they could just there bro i i feel like right there though you can be yourself though i, I mean i don't know that's just on the outside looking in. i mean I, I, would, I would love for you to pinpoint anything specific that you can say that I did that you would like to bring into question oh no you, you had your ego very going, general you had all did like I don't know, maybe because y'all got to share the mic too, so you had, you know what I'm saying, time to land. What you might you know be, what you might have an opportunity to witness is there are a lot more layers to me than you might realize. You might just been exposed to some layers you wasn't familiar with, homie. Right, right. Uh, yeah, I, you catch because when you with the Rome, when you went, when you with the Romans, you speak like the Romans. You catch me around some other people in a different dynamic. My conversation might go to a whole nother level. Really fuck your head up. Okay, okay. Hey, 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 Rockstar. I think I think they got it fucked up because cause he a crib, but but Delta, yeah. he, was on, he was on Wheel of Force, you know. Yeah, before that, I graduated high school at 17 and went to college as a theology major. Like it's I'm different. You sound like a theology major. Man. Thank what you. Man. What college Salute. you went to, bro? Oakwood University in Huntsville, Alabama. Oh, you were there. I, I only, I only went for a couple of weeks. He only only lasted a couple of weeks, caught a bunch of cases, was facing life at the age of 17, but that's my experience. I left high school to go be a preacher. Didn't quite work out right. Hello? Y'all got quiet. You can hear me? You can hear me? You can hear me? All yeah. Right. All right, let's keep it rolling with the questions, man. Free game, free game. Yo, yo, nah, I ain't got no question, bro. I'm just sitting back listening, but salute. Salute to you, bro. Hell yeah, yeah. Trade money. Trade money. 
Yeah, what's the deal? What's the deal? Hey, salute, Spider. Uh, I got a question, bro. Yes, sir. Hey, how long? Uh, how long you been fucking with this music shit? Like when? When you? When you start taking it serious? About the year two thousand. I paroled in nineteen ninety nine. And I made it something I was gonna take serious back then. So around 1999, 2000, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you too. You know, uh, you know my folks too. Uh, you know Courtney. You talking about Lil Riri? Yeah, yeah. That's my yeah. low. That's my yeah. That's mm -hmm. my low. Rest in peace, Cynthia. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry, yeah. nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, you know, yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah. Yeah, you know she be pop, you know she be popping up on my platform. That's my call. Yeah, I peeped it. I was like, man, I seen that. I was like, cover, you trying to get in the mix? Okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. You know, in my when I, she was in my movie Parole with Master P back in the day too. Oh, word. Yeah. That's when she was telling me what I was smoking with her not that long ago. I didn't know what she was talking about. We so goddamn high. You know how she got the role? I shot that movie like oh five, oh six, and I shot it with some people. And they told me they need a female who willing to show her titties on camera. So <laughs> I come crip. I caught the hunger. I'm like, I got a movie, but you got to show your titty. She like, fuck it, I'm with it. But when we went to shoot shoot the movie, everybody was too embarrassed to really ask her to show her titties. So she shot the whole movie without showing her titties on God. Oh God, that's <laughs> crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Appreciate TV, you bro. tapping in, though, my nigga. That's my homegirl. Yeah, yeah, uh, look, you're going to see some more of her on my hey, platform. You know, yeah, you know you know Melvin, too. Nigga, you, know, you know Melvin. That's my that's folks right there, bro. <laughs> Come on, Melvin Butler? Yeah, nigga, the Butler's is my family, bro. So you know you know, cause, you know, cause son, stepson from front of it? Uh, what, what, what's his name? I would have said his name. Damn, he just I just met him in the last few years while Melvin was out. Yeah, Say less, yeah. Yeah, I might know him. I might know him. I fucked with Melvin a few times while he was out here. Is is Cuz getting back out? I heard he was getting out. Hey, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. Nigga, that case is that shit shaky, bro. I don't know if they you mm -hmm. feel me. Mm -hmm. That situation, you know, that shit go, bro. Mm -hmm. Boy, just got out of doing all that time. Yeah, yeah that yeah. shit crazy to do thirty. And then yeah, they, they still yeah. over there off of ninety third and Wallsworth. You already know. Where yeah, they I'm knowing where they at. Yeah, I know where they at. Uh, yeah, let's keep it rocking. Let's keep it rocking. Uh, fan Meach. Yeah. Fan Meach. No, I ain't got no questions. Ah, uh, for sure. Uh, Calvin, my nigga Kenny, what up? And nigga, I'm about to troll this nigga for a second. Why you say my real name? Uh, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I, nah, I fuck with Spider Low, bro. It's all good. I definitely gonna troll dude for a hot second. But we good. It's crazy because everybody who said they ain't got no questions, it sound like instead of saying I ain't got no questions, they want to say fuck that nigga. Nah, 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 nah. I think okay. niggas listening just here to listen sometimes. Lisey, Lisey. <laughs> nah, I be, I be like that. Nah, the people on the stage is actually cool. Nah, yeah. I'm not gonna say. Shit, so know going you know, you know, you, 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 when you when you just judge when you just judge from tone of voice, you can pick up all type of mis miscues. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cody yeah. Mack, Cody Mack. You got a question, Cody? Yo. You got a question? Sure. Uh, I know you was on G U and that shit. Why you think Olivia ain't pop off? This is my thing, bro. When you look at the potential as far as talent over there, you could take me out the picture. And then look at what the artists as a collective ended up doing in the long run. You can either individually blame all the artists or you can find some fault in the structure of the top part. It's either or. All this talent that was over there and look how the longevity of their careers turned out. You can blame each individual or you can sit back and think maybe the system that was set up over there wasn't the right kind of system. Either or, homie. Olivia was extremely talented, and I'm not saying her lack of success was her fault or anyone else's, but she fits in a category or a group of a lot of people that were in the same position she was. How many of them are doing something independent right now, like, hey, look at me now? How many? None. I don't know about that. Lloyd Banks still do this thing, though. Hey, look, if you want to you reach that, that far... You think that sell for 100 it, it, look, he's doing a Nipsey this year, this this much later in the yeah. game. But just think, if you want to classify that as where you think Lloyd Banks want to do, you're going to hate on Banks. I ain't going to hate on Banks. Thing. 
But that's not where we talk. That's not what we talk about, Rockstar. No, no, no. Hey, hey, uh, South. Who that? South. South Central what's Emac. Up? What's happening? Oh yeah, what's up, kid? What's up? What's up? What's up, Rockstar kid? What's happening? What's up, KK neighborhood, bro? What's happening, Emac? Oh, that's Emac, Emac. E-Mac, what up, Cub? That shit do, bro. You suck, buddy. Hey, what you thought? Hey, E-Mac, what you thought? The nigga ain't know who you is? Oh, yeah, I know, bro. Nigga, I ain't been on Clubhouse in a minute, because I'm trying to figure out the work. Damn, E-Mac, Cub. This nigga, Cub. What's up, bro? Hey, my nigga Spider, what's up, bro? Neighbor, he's the deal. What that shit do, Cub? Hey, so look, question, bro. Uh, Nigga, how you feel about that Spider Joe game this? Because I ain't gonna lie, nigga, that was like, you and game one back was like, Cause I'm a genuine fanatic, bro. You already know, bro. I think I don't tell, tell, tell me, tell me, the, tell me. How you feel about the Spider Joke diss and, and how accurate was that song? None. Of, he ain't never said nothing character wise that that was accurate. But I, I say the coldest shit he ever said was, "You the reason niggas push mute when we playing Madden." That was cute. <laughs> that was a cute line. All right, what it, like and like far as you said about your brother and shit. Like what, what about? I mean, you know what he said. Where you, where you from? I'm from sixties, bro. You met right. me in person, bro. At the, I'm, just uh, at the, uh, he, I'm just saying. He, he said yeah. my. So I'm just saying. My brother been out here. He from neighborhood. Yeah. So you gonna? Now, go I don't know who your brother is, bro. But so I'm, I'm just saying. Like, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm trying to answer your question yeah. in a way to make it obvious. Yeah. What do your streets tell you versus what the rap song told you about my brother? Facts. What you, what you say? Facts over what? Yeah. Do you know when yeah. Wack, Wack grabbed the baton? He said he told on your homie. A B. Uh all right, all right. Yeah, where the all paperwork right. at? Let me tell you what happened. Yeah. A B and my brother went on a lit. They both got gaffled. My brother bullied Mark A B out into running a play. And they went in there and gave the same exact statement. Nigga, they identical. A B told on himself, and SPI told him to go in there and claim this shit. And that's what A B and went in there and did. That's why WAG don't never show the paperwork. Right, that's right. SPI ain't told on nobody, cuz. So, 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 yeah, I just want to shoot it, you know what I mean? Like, uh, say that shit, you know what I'm saying? I know what's up, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. I heard the nigga uh, Wax say that shit recently, too, and shit, man. But just, think, just think about that's Wax always in crib business, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why we never I, heard about who from Pacoima told on who? Why he don't talk about the nigga that smoked his brother that that's still alive, that beat the case, that's running around? Oh, uh, man. You don't ever talk about that. That's a pie rule from Pacoima that got smoked. His brother, his blood brother. Right, Let's talk right, about right. his brother. Yeah, man, I just got to say, man, 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 like, don't let Wack, nigga, like, nigga, Wack is smart, bro. He got, nigga, his securities from 30. That's my bro. You know what I'm saying? He fuck with Tony Rockstar. He tried to put a gang of niggas around him, bro, to try to do certain shit, bro. He very strategic because he's very smart. You know what I'm saying? And um, Hey, E-Mac. Yeah, what's up, buddy? Bro, you been knowing niggas their whole life, bro. They whole what? life. Guess yeah. what? Baby Run Run from 6 O's, my brother, check me out. I just talked to Big Run Run today. That's my cousin. Check me out. Let me tell you something. Wack was on Clubhouse, the same platform, telling the world that the feds called him and offered him protection from Jay Prince. I don't want to do nothing to Wack. I don't know how smart he is, but I know how snaky he is. Any nigga that get on the internet and say that and play a tape and say the feds was offering him protection, then he got a nigga from six zero coming on here speaking up to my watch out for him, and you ain't shit no cuz. I don't get it. Fuck cuz. Yeah, yeah. KK, what's up? Cuz ain't got nothing to say about no, nothing no, we do, bro. I'm just telling you shit, bro. You've been knowing niggas that what? whole life, bro. We, ain't, we, bro, what a nigga look like letting Cuz get any nigga in the trick bag or any of that shit. I see how he was trying to use you against Rockstar. Oh, like, he praised you. Bro. And, ooh, ooh, like, I listen, bro, listen, my niggas, bro. This, this really ain't no way. way. Like, I keep telling niggas, bro, I done squabbled this nigga three times in my life, bro. Ain't no whack to get me against no nigga like this, bro. This is pretty bro. my boy. Facts, facts. Like, bro. I don't know what niggas be thinking, because maybe I don't be doing the rah-rah shit and all that, bro. Ain't none of that shit happening, fool. Not even yeah, a little. Hey, Matt, can I tell you, can I ask you a question since you asked me some couple of yeah. hardball questions? Yeah, yeah, easy call. What's you happening about, with, who you talking about, me or Emac? I know that was Emac that asked me about my brother and all that, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I want to ask Cuz something since he's from 60s. Yeah. What's up with your homie 600 uh, oh, trying yeah, to call Big U out? Call Big U out for hanging with Gunner, but he tight as fuck with Wack that stay hanging with Snitch Nine to Coochie. What's your yeah. thoughts on that? I feel like, nigga, it's a contradiction, my nigga. Okay. And the police station shit. I don't know six hundred, bro. I don't know six hundred. All right, I, 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 I wasn't trying to cook him. 
yeah, want to do that. I yeah. want to do that. I feel you because I know how that's going around. Right, I don't yeah. want to go that deep. That's why I just asked about that specific right, issue. Right. Uh, I feel that's, you. that's another rolling 60 that I don't know. Don't do that, Munchie. Don't do I'm that. I'm not saying it like that. <laughs> hey, let me tell you, hey, but let me tell you about Munchie, though, bro. Whatever's going around about Munchie, I remember Munchie from back in the day when Cub went to catch. Cause oh. and, and as a full grown man in my in my in my thirties, I don't really fuck with the politics and the bullshit no more. I remember Munchie banging Inglewood Family's Cub for the, <laughs> around bro, the gate. He the nigga, bro, he was the only nigga at catch with us, bro. Nigga, the teachers going against the teachers going against Cubs and all that, bro. I'm from the neighborhood. Cubs bad and all that, bro. Look, I know how bad that shit is. Hell yeah. Stick and stink. I know what the homie Nip did and all that. But I'm gonna tell you this. I'd have been around doing my investigation, and I can't never pinpoint and say the nigga from Fodies claimed to have done that, homie. Everybody else saying he did it, whatever, but he, I can't say he has ever said he did it, though, y'all. I was in the I county around that right. time, bro, uh, with a Buntry and uh, S. Mac, all on, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, KK, Cub, bro, nigga, me, KK, we done tore up the county together and shit, bro, you know what I'm saying? But that shit ain't what it is, you know what I'm saying? All right, all right, let's keep it rocking and rolling. Let's keep it rocking and rolling. Uh, Jay. Jay, you got a question? Yeah, what's good, Spider? What up, my nigga Jay? Can't call it. Hey, who is your favorite uh, G Unit artist and why? Well, um, on some MC shit, just the whole shit, I gotta say, Banks. But I grew to appreciate Buck as an artist overall when I start realizing music and record and, you know, mass appeal. But just like on some acapella bars, you know, being in the basement, initially it was banks. And then when it came to just the overall being able to create shit for the world, I appreciated 50 on a level two eventually. But initially, banks, then I grew, I grew appreciation for Buck and 50 along the line. But on some loyal homie shit, Yale was the most down to earth and loyal homie type nigga. Nah, I bet I feel that, and I appreciate your contribution, bro. Yeah, I appreciate you. All right, uh, pop out. I don't know, pop out. Want to say something? We're gonna stop right there. You know what I'm saying? SBI in this motherfucker. We got sharp in this motherfucker. What sharp was in this motherfucker? Sharp, sharp must have got up out of here. <clears throat> Y'all can hear me? I can. I can. This motherfucker quiet a motherfucker. But yeah, man. Hey, uh, appreciate everybody asking questions. I don't know if anybody got any more questions. You feel me? Uh YLJ came in. <laughs> oh my god. My bring love. That, bring that nigga up. He right here. No, no, not he y'all. Right YL. YL. YL right here. YL, what up? I don't know y'all. Is it YL or y'all? YL. Okay, my bad. <laughs> Hey, uh, YL, what's up? You got a question for SBI? Shit, nah. I, I've been uh, watching the content, though, um, the interviews and shit. I just gonna say keep doing your shit, though. Good looking, Y Easy. Appreciate you, sir. Oh, uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, you know what I want to ask? What? I don't know if you can talk about it, but, you know, the famous gas station sock out. <laughs> you know, 50 posted it on his IG. Yeah, man, that was uh like what was going on? Like, nigga, owe you some money? Nah, you know? man, that was a motherfucker blocking me from accessing the gas pump with his automobile, <laughs> and I kept asking him to straighten it out, and he refused to get in his car and straighten it out. He tried to like get in front of my car and like guide me into this narrow area, showing me I could fit. But after I tried that, I still couldn't fit. And he acted like, fuck you. I'm going to just go pay for my gas and you figure it out on your own. And if you watch the tape, as I approached him, after, y'all don't realize, the tape started like eight, nine minutes before that, me being real, uh, you know, uh, reasonable with him. But as far as for the case, I got that tape from my lawyer. So as far as the case is concerned, they started to tape right there to make me look as crazy as I could. But they didn't show me pleading with him, getting in and out of my car, trying it his way. They started it when I was finally fed up, trying to tell him, look, homie, move your car. And he telling me, fuck that, I'm finna go pay for my gas. And he put his hands up, even though when I look at it in hindsight, he was using his hands in a talking gesture. 
But when you turned up, confrontational attitude, and you walking up on somebody and their hands go up, I just seen his hands going up, so I swung on him. And then, I swear to God, cause I was right there on Artesia in Santa Fe. What was that? Alabama? Yeah, Santa Fe. Cause it's like 20-something pumps at that gas station. It's a big-ass gas station. Nigga, it was about 11, 12, 13 Mexicans in the gas station. Every Mexican in that gas station united like Voltron and started coming at me, homie, to the point where they didn't get it on tape. But it was a time where I was full speed running with my back turned to the crowd. And I ran up on some black niggas like, cuz they trying to rush me. They trying to rush me. And then the black niggas seen what was going on. It was only two of them. But they came over there with me like, no, that's between him and him. I said, I told the black niggas, I want to go head up with him. So they would start regulating the crowd like that's between them two. That's between them two. That's when I came back around. And when I came back close to my car, you see the little nigga, he a parking instructor. He had that uniform on. And when he saw what was going on, he tried to take control of the situation. And everybody was kind of like respecting his uniform. But he was like a, a nigga that get parking tickets. But then it was a black lady that came and told me like, baby, don't get distracted. She put your keys right here. And she reached toward the small of her back. And when I went to open, start my car, I couldn't find my keys. And the black lady told me the, the bitch had put my keys by her ass and her sweatpants. That's why you see me come and snatch her pants down because I was looking for my keys. But my keys wasn't back there. And uh, her husband eventually, the, the security nigga, I told him, that's a robbery. You can't take his keys. Give him his keys. So they gave me the keys. And when I went to get in my car, I had a brand new phone. I see my whole phone was shattered. So I'm like, damn, what happened to my phone? And the black niggas that was right there told me the Mexican nigga had stumped on my phone. So that's why I snuck him again the second time. Bam. Then I got on. But I had caught a case for that shit, though, on Crip. Oh, okay. Damn. <laughs> hey, they, they, got, they had your license plate? Yep, got my license plate. When I went to court, the judge name was Rodriguez. My lawyer name was uh, 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 Escobar. The, the the defense attorney, the attorney against me, his name was like fucking uh, Pina. The, the nigga who was going against me, his name was Salzar. Everybody in there was Espanol except me, bro. I took the first shit they offered me. Crip. That shit felt funny, homie. Hell yeah, damn. And the nigga, the nigga that marked out on tape like that was in court with his hair slicked back, top button buttoned up, looking what? hardcore as fuck, mad dog and me and all that. Oh God. Not the hair slicked back, nigga. Stop. Yeah, you know, he was the old school Vato. You could tell he ain't no Vato, but he showed up to court Vato it out, old school style. He used the three flowers on his hair. Dead <laughs> homies, I bet you he had the three dots. He had a three dots with the little uh, comb with the fingers thing, that little black thing they used to scrub with that, you know that thing? That little circle brush comb they used to keep the yeah. that plastic black shit. That they put a hair net there. over their hair. <laughs> yeah, dead homies. So what happened was I got that video from my lawyer, right? So it was a nigga named Jeremy who used to run This Is 50 who I thought had got fired. First, I hit Top Dog up, like, and told him, could he get it on TMZ? He had got Raquel, at Raquel, she didn't, they didn't bite. So I got at Jeremy, like, man, I got a tape, man, I'm trying to go viral with it. He was like, I'm going to see what I can do, spot it. I thought he had got fired from Mrs. 50. And the next time I seen that shit, it was a two-minute video. 50 had broken down to 15 seconds and put it on his IG, doing his little commentary. I'm like, oh, I thought he didn't fuck with him no more. So, but... I ain't gonna lie, I jumped to 50 DM and tried to make that a moment to communicate, cut and bite though. <laughs> oh yeah? On the set. Damn, man, where did it go? Like, I just don't get it. Like, cause I see pictures of, you know, shout out, I know niggas from your old Big Merc. I see pictures with, you know what I'm saying? Like, Let me tell y'all this. Let me tell you this, homie, what nobody don't realize. My brother went to jail in 05. He got life in 05. Not only him, but in his case, G Unit came up a gang of times. You can't tell me that they never tapped 50 on the shoulder and asked him no questions. 
outside of that, it was a pretty high profile street murder out here that G unit <laughs> came up in highly implicated. It wasn't true, but it was real messy. Somebody got life in that case. I was heavily like, even though I wasn't really attached to it, associated with it at all, it was too close for comfort. Real Now, that might not be the bottom line reasons, but these are two things that nobody is even factoring into what they think might have happened, which y'all have no idea of. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, it get deeper than everybody from the outside looking in things. It get way deeper, homie. Deeper than I could talk about on club. Y'all had a movement. When I was going to Crenshaw, them niggas was going G and West, East Coast niggas. It was y'all had a movement. Look, no bullshit, homie. We used to be in the clubs out here, in the streets, swap meets, everywhere we go. I had niggas from Fodies, niggas from Compton Crip, niggas from my hood, niggas from all over. And we'll be out in public, niggas. We'll bump into niggas from any L.A. reputable set. They'll bang on us. We was banging G, Unit Crip. And niggas was getting back at us like, they'd look confused for a second. But when they see our energy, they be like, these niggas is serious. Damn. <laughs> But it, it'd be real niggas from all over. So the energy was right on. It'd just be weird to hear. But you know what? Also told y'all when you hear that, we don't want no problems. So you know, we don't win. You know, the Crips ain't got no enemies except whack walls. So, so y'all didn't, didn't feel offended then when the game came out with the G and the Crips on there, right? The nigga said G and the Crips called the cops. If you thought that, that was cute, you that weird, was funny nigga. as fuck. But just think about it. When is it cool to say call the cops? That's funny. Yeah, I think the I think the song seemed like more of a parody. Yeah, I think you gave him too much credit because he was covering up the butterfly on his cheek at the same time. <laughs> he was fresh out of studio, he shaking his ass butt naked. Yeah, that's tough. It's reality though. You got him on change of heart, the little bra talking about that's where they went to on the day. Like niggas giving niggas too much credit. Only credit he got is he knew Dr. Dre, he knew 50, and he knew niggas like me. Nigga, what else do you know about him? My nigga, nigga's a queerdo. That nigga cried about hip hop, real tears on camera, about the state of hip hop. Stop it, my nigga. So look, so look, uh, you know, you got homeboys like Nina Boy, Asmo, who's doing like the celebrity boxing shit. You ever thought about getting into that? Man, I thought about going to the moon. I thought about uh, getting in a fucking submarine. Thought about going to the jungle. This nigga. You feel me? It's a whole lot of things I thought about that you'll never see me do. Feel me? I, I, at this point, I mean, in my do life, you agree with them doing it? I mean, I don't know. got no say so. I don't got no yeah. no. I don't got no opinion on what another grown man chooses to do with his time. I'm talking about me as the journey I lived as a man to be 47. You won't see me getting in front of the world trying no new physical challenges to get nobody no advantage to look make me look stupid. All the fights I ever had in my life was run up, shut up, get mad, get off where you get mad. I don't know about all that. That schedule about to put a disadvantage, some gloves on, and I don't. I'm not a skilled. That's a sport. I don't play that sport. Yeah. I don't do that sport. But that you can't name a grown man, a live man, dead man that can say they ran up on me and they get what they were looking for. Hey, Spider, I got a question. Yeah. Did you um? Did you and Fat Joe have real issues, or was that just some G-Unit inherited shit? It was all G-Unit inherited, to be, you know, 100% honest. Okay. Yeah, so Nigga caught a stray. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. But just think of the nigga I was moving around with and what kind of line he used to push. Remember, he was really all bad on the bitch boy about loyalty and association. So I came in right up under all that understanding. So, plus that's just my spirit, you know. Ride with, stand with. You know, it just it, just, it was like a perfect storm. Nah, facts. I I I you still got the G unit crib, Ted, don't you? It just no, it's just G unit. I still got it on my back end, yeah. But it's still G unit crib though. But 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 you you'll you'll get it covered, or you just saying fuck it? Hell no, nah, nigga. For what? It's still G unit crib. Right. That's part of history. It's part of my reality every day. Like I didn't, you know, I did this, I did that. That's like right now, if you find yourself on the odd number of the politics in the hood, cause shit is bunk, 
I mean, you finna whack the set out. Hey, was was you uh was you a part of bringing the nigga Buck to the city and tapping him in with the Lokes? Hell yeah, he was from the uh, Southern East Coast to start Don't off. Talked about that earlier. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So I did, did. so was. But I ain't gonna lie, when I met Buck, he was tapped in with a pocket of Grape Streets though. That was, you know, where he couldn't control. He'd tell one nigga where he finna be, and he had no control. Sixty, seventy, or eighty niggas showed up though. That was like like connections he knew already from Tennessee. Um, I can't uh, really tell you where the connection started, but he knew some niggas from out here. My nigga KP and him and a whole bunch. Once you know one nigga from Grape, you know how that go. <laughs> yeah. It sound like you, you, you everybody cousin, homie, best friend. Yeah. It sound like the young buck was just looking for a home. There you go. No, you bing, bing, ding, ding, ding. You know, we got yeah. a homie. I got a homie like, uh, bro, that nigga was from about four or five different hoods, bro. Yeah, when I met Buck, he was, initially they told me he was from Hoover in Casriel. Right. He my hood. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Then he was kind of like, before he turned my hood, he was kind of playing with the Gray Street shit. Then he right. turned my hood. Then he pulled, he turned to 6 0 shit. Well, because the, the grapes is kind of, it's pretty deep in Tennessee, though, ain't they? Well, it, well, I know in not Memphis, really, bro. In Memphis, I think they got a presence. I guess I maybe, know, maybe not more a, so I, now because that's uh, where the nigga, uh, the little nigga NLE from, ain't it? Yeah, but that yeah. shit ain't that shit ain't that shit ain't that out there. Oh, though. Okay. But you know, y'all know my experience is like then twenty years ago. Now we talking about twenty years ago yeah. too. Oh four, oh oh four, oh five. Like I met the niggas in oh four. It's oh three, y'all. It's gonna be oh four. That's twenty years. What's your relationship with Buck now? There is none. I don't fuck with niggas that get caught up with Greg like he got caught up with Greg. But before that, I found out he was keeping secrets that was really important to my career for over a year. And he exposed that. And that's when I stopped really fucking with him. But after he got caught up with Greg, my nigga, I don't I don't I don't know I don't fuck with them kind of crips. <laughs> caught up with Greg. Greg was crazy. Yeah. Greg, <laughs> Greg, <laughs> could you could you explain what happened that night? Like, said he went out to get into a club or something like that. I thought you explained it before, but people might not be. What happened, Jay? You said you said at night. What happened at a club? Uh, some, something about why helped you get in the club or some shit like that. No, he ain't never helped me get in no motherfucking club. That's what Wax spends his time on club. Just nigga Jay. Y'all. Just nigga yeah, Jay. Homie. Nah, that wasn't me. What's that the wasn't me. Nah, that nigga Trey some bullshit. He shot uh, Chris. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's what that's actually that's took place was, that's I was I was in the club. It was or club venue, whatever it was. I was in the club, but I didn't have the VIP shit that I expected to have, and it was a female that new nina boy that was there telling me oh i got you hold on hold on i'm gonna get you right out of nowhere whack showed up and the bitch started acting like she didn't know us no more her and whack dipped off of this little closed door to the side on my granddaughter cuz i bust in the door fully turned up and whack met me saying calm down spider i got you don't don't spider you always tripping calm down don't worry i backed up out the door and whack came out with the vip bands that i was trying to get bro okay so he just tried to spin it through okay that's what he do bro just think about it bro think about it bro why would i have to pick whack to start lying about who i am out here i've been out here nigga why would i pick whack to lie on why when for what he ain't even from L.A. You don't get no points for conquering a nigga from Pacoima. He don't even matter out here in our real politics. He got the internet convinced that he does. But whack his scream, holler, pyro as much as he want. He could be his friends with as many crips as he want. He don't matter to our politics in real life, bro. I have no need to try to attach or attack or conquer whack for what? He nobody. Why would I lie? My whole image online is based on keeping it facts over feelings. I'd rather die than lie about this goofy ass shit, nigga. Uh, <laughs> nigga could feel that though. Shit be watered down. Hey, uh, what's happening, man? We live and direct. 
You know what I'm saying? Reset the room. SBI is in the building. Hey, what you got cracking? What you want to promote? I mean, what you want to let the people know? You got some money and music. Blue Smurf coming soon. That's my artist. He the hardest shit out here kicking this shit. Y'all let's see. Blue Smurf from Northside Long Beach. Mac Mafia. That's what we pushing right now for the two fold. That's what's coming out. That's what I'm pushing. Stay tuned. Drop, yeah. drop that shit with me and Smurf, nigga. Munchie B on the project. I got Benji Stone on the project. Papa Smurf on the project. Uh, uh, G Malone on the project. I got uh, Big Sad 1900 on the project. Blue Smurf shit go up. Hard as a bitch. Hey, what's your relationship, my bad? This is not to throw you off like that. I don't know if you want to keep going. No, nah, you good. But uh, what's the relationship with Blue Da Vinci? I really don't got one, cuz. And then, you know, I really understand no crips that be online on whack nuts. But I've been knowing Blue Da Vinci from way back, right? But he real tight with the nigga that from 6 called call himself smutting my brother, too, with the bullshit. Like, you know, Blue don't step up, speak up, and separate himself from that sucker shit. And he's sitting real close to the sucker, so you get to smelling like, looking like a sucker to me, he's side crip. Okay. But you was like, you was around that BMF era. Yeah, yeah, you've seen enough photographs to document that. I ain't got to even speak on that. Free Big Meek. So, for so, for so, man. SBI, man. I appreciate you. Hey, that man. nigga Munchie know how to rap? <laughs> <laughs> Is, who that? Who you asking? He asking you. I heard, I heard somebody say he had him on a project. I ain't know he knew how to rap. Hey, yeah, hey, 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 Charlie. I'm what happened? I'm, I'm going to let you hear for yourself. I'm going to tell you, he made my project, and I'm a hard critic. I don't let niggas that can't rap on my artist project, so. <laughs> nah, that's KK. He, he on my yeah. shit. Hey, 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 KK, you rock star running from a versus, bro. Man, I, I know. Yeah, I know he is. trying to do that, bro. Hey, listen, Munchie. Right, I, 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 hey, listen, I pressed the line on that shit. For we've been trying to do that shit, bro. I don't want to do it, bro. We could do that shit, you know. Nah, you don't want to do it, bro. I, 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 I didn't want. I was trying to start you out on your platform. That's all that was. <laughs> nah, I, I know you was trying to start it, bro. You had this nigga, bro. You had this nigga, bro. You had this nigga, Munchie, sending me my songs a day, bro. <laughs> bro, I can run a versus a Munchie versus you without cuz in the room. You know what, y'all got to commit to yourself to doing on here. Everybody that's from a LA based gang. Y'all got to commit yourself to not let no nigga from outside that circle come inside speaking on niggas that ain't got. I don't want to stand. Hey, you know, hey listen, hey, listen, you, you know why when when that nigga come in here we don't do that shit, bro. I don't because the nigga understand that this nigga is a fucking character, bro. So a lot of times, cause like I said, it ain't every time that nigga come in the room, bro. We we on rah rah and shit. It's been times that nigga come in the room and it's just been regular. Then it's time where this nigga just pop in and just be on some weird shit. Yeah. But at the same token, bro, I, like our room ain't really a gang of motherfuckers that just. But you don't realize the place. massive amount of crip dick he keep down his throat constantly, and, consistently. Oh yeah, and I always and rock what I be telling you, bro. Cause it's like, like you feel me? He one of them niggas that's like was a loser growing up, probably. Only ain't child no probably. type nigga. Like ain't I don't no know, like ain't no problem. A nigga them. know them type niggas. Yeah. You feel what yeah. I'm saying? Nigga that always want to say shit to fit in. But listen, but listen, Spider, and this is another thing. Like, you know, like I said before, cuz not no direct enemy to us. You feel me? To where I'm from, you feel me? And I'm not knowing. Like I said, I'm not meeting. I'm not know. I ain't known you forever. I ain't know everybody forever. You feel me? You got to really know a nigga. You got to really get up on a nigga, right? Uh -huh. This whole shit been internet based. So when niggas act like I fuck with a nigga, stop acting like I fuck with a nigga. You feel me? Because like in the streets, niggas know where I stand. And I don't want to have to, and I'm not no over explainer. I don't like to have to over explain myself and over talk niggas and talk. I let niggas talk cuz, listen, nigga, I'm here for the content. It's the content. We playing this internet game. Let's play. Let's play. Everybody I else play. I understand that, but until it start getting to disrespect. Yeah, no, it, 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 no, no, listen, listen. I don't listen. know where that come from. But listen, listen, yeah, when it go too far, nigga gotta, you feel me? But the whole time it's been, okay, whatever. We know the truth. We know what's happening. Niggas is doing, you feel me? We ain't, 
But yeah, enough. Well, enough be enough. Yeah, nigga, gotta stand on it. But y'all, but you gotta really give a, you gotta give a valley nigga the same amount of room to be speaking on LA that you be speaking up on the valley. How much time do you give giving your input on valley politics? That's how much I want to hear valley nigga talking about our politics, homie. Yeah, because I was finna say, boy, we don't talk about no valley. Nothing. Exactly. So why we got? Why do we give a fuck what this nigga got to say but, about but, how we, how we grew up and how we even tried to bring up something like that? Know. He gonna get pissed off. That, but that's because there's somewhere in this community where the amount of men here have bowed down to that corny shit. He don't matter. Nah, nah he no, don't matter. No, cut, nobody cut, in talk, here bowed down, bro. All right, right I don't want nobody to take it personal, bro. Don't take it personal. Think about the culture of a nigga from the valley that could jump on here and speak about L.A. Compton politics as an authority who ain't never ran no L.A. and Compton streets ever in his life. It makes zero sense. He might as well be from Brooklyn. All he know about is what he was told. It's a million of them niggas running around doing this shit, bro. But well, right here, I, right here, he the king of this platform, right? Hey, here. But look, but listen, he hey, listen, when he, when he when he not in here doing that, why y'all niggas don't never hear those rooms? I don't know, homie. I can't. I can't. That's what I'm. I keep I trying know. to tell you, bro. I, 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 listen, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, I'm listen, doing this I, shit. I, I, I'm with what you on. Listen, I'm I'm definitely with what you on. Don't think a nigga not agreeing with you. But what I'm saying is. It's more nigga, to it. it. Like, yeah, it's on God in heaven, it's, it's a lot more to it, bro. Because mm -hmm. it's like, if a nigga had to like do the ratio, like, bro, if we had this nigga in here 10 times, bro, maybe two or three of those, bro, maybe a good two or three of those, he done went crazy on somebody. Like I'm saying, it's, it's a gang of times where that nigga done been in here cut for hours talking about all kinds. We in here talking about all kinds of shit. Y'all niggas never hear those rooms. Bro, this is my point, though, my low. Once a nigga hold hands with Takuchi, I don't want to hear nothing else he got to say about oh, nothing no, else here. Right. So and I don't even understand saying. why he's tolerated and having a voice, even I'm when he's behaving I'm, I'm, correctly. I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you why. Yeah, because, yeah, listen, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to tell you why, bro. Because like I said, when the homie first started this room, he mm -hmm. started it with the non-bias shit. See, like a lot of these rooms in here, bro, this, these niggas that's in the goo right now, you you are going to another room, niggas not even letting niggas up, bro. We let every single nigga that comes. So it's like the S, it's like an S and Y room. No, this ain't no S and Y room. This is a so room where once a nigga hold on, 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 for the nigga, biggest, no it, ain't no, the biggest. No, it ain't no safe haven because we on niggas ass. No, I'm talking about, I'm talking about hold no honey into coochie. You can't have no audience. How do I? I'm through. Oh, I, I made my listen, point. I ain't never had six nine. Y'all go ahead. Y'all tap it in. Go ahead. I, 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 I y'all know have a job. Y'all know Birdman. Y'all know Birdman been kissing, but been kissing Wayne on the mouth all my life. I get what you said. That nigga Wayne, that nigga Birdman been sucking on Wayne lips on my whole life on camera, nigga. Bro, Go ahead. We 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 know that. And like I said, I get what you saying, but when you just said there's more to it, I can't disclose all that type of shit. That's your chess game. My bad. I feel you. You feel what I'm saying? Like, no, no, no. If the homie wanted to disclose all that shit, because like you said, when you say it's more to it, it's for show sure more to it, bro. Yeah, but I ain't trying to drag no extras out of and nobody. I know and that's, niggas be popular. And, and that's why I'm trying to take the shortcut and yeah, tell My bad. You know my bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah you I'm can hit your you curve. Saying. I'm, I'm, with I'm, what I'm catching up to you now. I'm catching up to you. I hear you. Yeah, God bless it. Flocko in the building. But what did Flocko with it do? Yo, man. Yo. PF, PF Change. What's happening, homie? I just came. Hey, yo. Hey, Spider Loke. Uh, yo, Munchie B in the building. KK? Yes, Rock? sir. Yo, yo, hey, Munchie, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You a top five podcaster in LA right now, man. Like, I, I told you, Munchie. I, 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 I appreciate it. I don't gas me, though. No, 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 bro. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. Like, and on God, my nigga, like, in terms of who I listen, like, like, hey, right, for example, right, like, like, um, it's people like who I can listen to speak, right? I told, told you know, you. Spire Loke, I, I would say, would say Adam, T. Rail, and then and then like a fifth woman, like like a uh, like a podcaster that like I can like listen to for 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 like an hour just speak. Yeah, bro, like you know, in Brick, but I think I said Brick already, right? Nah, you just said him. Yeah. That was your fifth. 
Yeah. Yeah, bro. Not much. Bro, bro, bro. Like, listen, bro. Like, if you like stay consistent, my nigga, like, you know, like you definitely on to something, man. Oh, you know, I, I tell him the same shit, real. though. For, 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 I tell him the same shit. You Appreciate the good. compliment, too, homie. Yeah, man. Oh, 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 oh. And guess what, nigga? Hmm. We finally make it happen after years of, you know, we finally, Munchie B, no jumper coming soon. And guess what, right? And I said, yeah. hey, listen, nigga, like, <laughs> I don't even want to do it. I, I said, nah. Munchie and Adam got to sit down and have that conversation. You feel That's me? big. Hey, 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 he seemed like Adam like to sex play people, bro. Hey, hey, he, yeah. hey, 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 he said he gonna spit the homie booty hole when he knock him. I'm like, damn. <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> no, nah, look, Adam, Adam has made it clear he knows who to get at like that, homie. Okay, so you so you had to do a little uh, disclaimer before you got on camera with him or something. Make sure no, you. <laughs> I had already been on camera and just made it. It was too late. I just told him for future references. Hey, all hey. I ask is you not get at me like that. That nigga he made playing it clear with... he know who to get at like that. I don't think he'll play you like that. He back to playing with that powder, bro. I think that nigga on the on the edge. Nah, man. Nah, nah. Man. So how is it cool to get at Bosco like that? That shit don't make sense. <laughs> Now, hey, no, hey, I'm thinking because Bosco, uh, he he comedic. He, he says yeah, he want to be funny. Yeah, he played with it, him too. Yeah, yeah, not to shit on Bosco, but Bosco kind of opened the doors for jokes to go both ways with him. He had talk about people and attack their sexuality. He he kind of opened that door up for that. Right. Extent. He started that exactly shit too for sure. But, yeah, yeah. I think, I think Bosco handled that well. He, he definitely, right. he definitely was coming with some papers too. Yeah, he the first one to uh. Bag on BG coming home talking about the nigga looking funny. That nigga. Yeah. And you see, and you see BG got it together after that. He ain't look like that since. Yo, I'll be <laughs> real, bro. Like BG got to start rapping, bro. You not feeling a new BG? Damn. Dog. Bro, listen, bro. Like Shake I heard, dress, like heard, dress, like his remix. To, like, nah, listen. I heard her like his like remix to like. Shake your dress by by uh, uh sexy red. <laughs> I'll be real, bro. Like, br listen, man. Like, Birdman gave bro a couple M's, <laughs> a big ass chain, my nigga. Hey, bro, invest those yeah. M's into a trucking company, man. Do something, my nigga. <laughs> Do it, bro. Like, stop with this rapping shit, man. That shit over with, bro. Wow. <laughs> hey, I gotta That's go listen now. Happening. Now I gotta go listen too. You just got him a couple of uh, streams because I yeah. gotta listen. Bruh, bruh, that shit is ass, bro. Like, wow. I, bro, yeah, man. What, bruh, he, what, yeah. Is he is he he talking tough, Pia? Not, not like listen, right? Like, and like, 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 and it's like the two thousand and like wow. three flow. You feel me, right? It's the same flow. Like the nigga mm. just look like you feel me, bro. Like right. he just look outdated. You feel me? Like right. now, right now. Now, right, hey, listen, like, I understand, right? Like, he just got out of jail, right? So, like, he may, you know, like, need some time to, you know, to, you know, feel me, to readjust, mm -hmm. feel me, feel me, to, like, the lingo, you know, the style, you feel me? But, like, bro. Hey, man, we got to put some security around this nigga Flocko now. He didn't, I, I, you feel me? Hey, 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 chop the seat. I'm man. Hey, don't say that now, nigga. Hey, hey, look. <laughs> yeah, you know. Hey, hey, you know hey, I fuck with BG, man. You feel me? You know, but I just don't understand, bro. Like, if you like over forty, bro, like, why you like? You feel me? Like, why you wanna, bro? Listen, man. like, I can understand, right? Like, being forty and still, you feel me? And trying to grind, you feel me? Right? Cool. But if you up M's already, my nigga, like, why you trying to rap? <laughs> Hey, you like, what, what you you give him you give him a pass for like Chris maybe just had to get that out of his system after ten years. It was easy for him to do. He had maybe gassing him up. Maybe he just he ten years late, ten years old, ten years dated, but he needed to get that out probably. Nah, listen though, right? Nah, mm -hmm. listen though. Um, you know who I blame, right? Who? All the fake ass niggas, right? You feel me? Who was telling him in jail? Wow. Yo, bro, yo, bro, but the streets is waiting on you, bro. <laughs> hey, BG, the streets is waiting on you, man. Niggas want to know, feel me? That's bro, listen, up. bro. Ain't no nigga from the streets in every ass. Flacco, where you be getting your information from, Flacco? Huh? Where you be getting your information from, dog? Because it seems like you're pulling that shit out your ass. 
want. Man, it seem like you be pulling that ass, that shit out your ass, like your shit come out your ass, my nigga, because you be just talking, bro. I know how it goes, I ain't lying bro. You, you feel me? If you be <laughs> hard, you don't know how it goes, bro. Hold on, you hold on. Man. What he was talking about on the song, then? What he was talking about? What? What he was talking about on the song. Nigga just asked you that. So if you heard random the song, shit. what is random shit? Stay listen, listen up, bro. That right. Listen, you know, you know, what bro. is random shit, nigga? Ain't having out one bar for me uh, um, that's worth uh, remembering. Wow. Man, that's a classic BG, boy. Said. What the fuck is you talking about? Hey, what's I got to say, whoever that, is, who, whoever that is speaking up for BG sound like he grew up next door to BG, too, though. Yeah, I did, nigga. I could tell. I could tell. Yeah, but the thing is, though, listen to this. You respect some bitch ass shit that bitch ass niggas do that come up there on no jumper, but you don't respect no real niggas, huh? Talk your shit. Hello. All right. All right. Yeah, well, I respect some good music, up though, bro. Listen, do what you do. When you start talking on no jumper, that same energy you be having on no jumper when you be hollering and studying and shit, get that same energy in the nigga face. And the nigga gonna show you a nigga rap or a nigga bust your ass or a nigga gonna back the fuck out you. Find if that you out. Think, I don't think that nigga talk straight. Nigga, I'm talking way, straight. Nigga, don't right, don't go to right. getting all that. Wait though. If you know. think I'm wait wait though. If you think I'm scared, right for me, right? Um, I ain't saying you're scared. Be, yo, bro, that song ain't hit my nigga. Scared? You getting fucked you over? Out of your mind, bro. Listen, right. bro. I was never scared to tell a nigga, hey, bro, this song is not it. This Never what I'm about to do, Flacco. I, I, I swear flock, to God, I flock, dog. Flock, flock, I, I'm coming just... to no jump or something, and we gonna talk. We I mute this man. You know, meet up, meet up, meet up, chill, chill. Yeah, yeah, fuck I, all I, that. I, I, I flock, I, Flacco. You just talking about one particular song? That, that, yeah. That you, what, what's the name of it? Uh, shake your dress. Oh, okay. Look, you feel me? It's a remix he did. Yeah, yeah, I heard you earlier. Yeah, yeah sexy red. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, if you don't stop giving niggas promo, putting shit at the top, nigga. <laughs> but I mean, like, come on, bro. Hey, mom, you stand in the rock. This shit ain't free, nigga. Fuck. <laughs> Let me go ahead, man. Hey, but, uh, hell yeah, SPI, man. I appreciate you pulling up on us, you know, seeing how we rock. Oh, you man, know what I I'm saying? The experience for my first time really being on Clubhouse. Yeah, you know, don't be no stranger. You feel like me? Sense. I got the app now. I'll tap back in. Yeah, we gonna make something. We gonna do put something together, though. All right, say less, man. Appreciate you. Okay, for sure, man. Yo, hey. Hey, P.S. Much you be, bro. Yo, bro, listen, bro. Yo, when you come, bro, listen, bro. Like, listen, like, plan for like a three, four hour interview, bro, because you got like a long ass story, my nigga. There you go. Hey, oh, hey, wasn't, wasn't y'all just playing with Munchie name up there last week, though? Who? No jump. I hear. Who? No, no, hold up. Yeah, who? Nigga, speak That's on funny. it. That was a troll mover. That was real. No, nah, nigga, yeah. speak on it, nigga. I want to know. Yeah, who? Why No, I was saying, wasn't Adam and them just speaking on much it be like last week, two weeks ago? What they were saying, nigga? What they say? Speak on it. Oh, he talking about what Weirdo 100 and, and, and uh, Adam was talking. In the, in the about Whack and Adam show with Beast on it or whatever. Oh, it came up again with Beast? I don't know it was, if it was the same one. It, I thought it was in the act, act, uh, Adam and Wack show, though. No, nah, no, nah, I heard this. I heard this shit with with, with, with Weirdo One Hundred and Adam, but see, it, it was it, it it was it was it was it was a nigga uh, it was a nigga whack more so. But that shit was if it's something new. Nah, I think we talking about the same situation. I don't really want to repeat. I'm about that to shit say this real. nigga obsessed, bro. But just know, everybody he named ain't none of them from L.A. Compton, Watts, Inglewood, or South Central. But none of them from there. None of them names. Hey man, he got some uh some 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 special interests, bro. I'm starting to think the nigga bisexual, bro. He always got gay jokes. Who? This nigga uh weirdo 100. He, he tell Ever Rose uh West Khalifa gay. He say uh Jay Diggs married to a man. He say he just put some gay shit with the nigga Rockstar homie something. And he admitted he he's sending a transgender at niggas. That's his secret weapon. But he got some type of fixation and that. And that shit ain't straight. Shit, he That's just all. set up a fade with. Hey, I told, I told him about that shit. With you. I told hey, but, him. Hey, but hold on, and then, he, and, and then, and then you stamp in Ray J have have a, a transgender reality show with twelve trans. I don't know, bro. Like, I don't just, remember. A long time ago, Ray J been told the world he wrong with some booty goons. That'll get you right. 
Nah, but 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 why why is this level four prisoner uh triple OG so called Paru stepping that shit in one of them? Because they sound, look, sound he excited. Said, he said he had a gang tape with Nipsey in it and he said he watched it a hundred times. Well, uh, he probably got a forever party, and I don't know. But yeah. the nigga, he weird. He got some type of fixation, bro. That, uh, yeah. That's him. He said he had a he had a gay tape of Delahoye. The boxer. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he got gay people on speed, though. Yeah, that's his get out. He raised a gay, a gay man. That's crazy. That's him. That's cause mo. Uh, he don't talk about that gay son much. He talk. He talk. He brag on his daughter though. Yeah, he talk. He don't talk about that gay son. And Ray J told the whole world that June is no longer Gay Pride Month, but it's Ray Pride Month, and that's still his pop. That's what he rock with. Hey, but he. Hey, hey, who said speed down? Cause he. She so did have a gay a gay thing on speed down for Saucy Santana though. Yeah, he always oh, he just, hey, yeah, did he just get caught up with the uh yeah, he just got caught up Y'all know that was that dude did not that be that used to be on club. I'm fucking dead. Shut up, Sneakwa. That's not his girl. Oh, that is the name. That did not. That's who the fuck the girl Shut that's the who he fuck up. Hey, Shaniqua, oh, that's 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 the, 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 the game that's the game on club. What the what the saucy nigga tell you, Sneakwa? You said what what you say, SPI? What the sauce what the saucy nigga told what? Saucy ain't, uh, he ain't tell the nigga nothing. Saucy was trying to fight. No, he does academic. have a response yeah. to whack. Yeah, he, he responded yeah, he back. He told him oh, to did fuck he? him and all this shit. Yeah, he said somebody running up to him, knocking him out or something. No, I think he told academics he was going to bust no, academics he down. <laughs> but he said, <laughs> 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 talking about me, talking about you got somebody to line me up, nigga. Fuck you. Ain't far half the niggas want to fight you. He's he counting on his fingers. You got one, two, three, four, five, ten. <laughs> These niggas want to fight you. So, no, he definitely directed it to what? I, 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 I'll probably toss uh, the antenna fade down, bro. Nigga ain't doing all that. Nigga, he, he just get popped on or something. Uh, fuck that shit. <laughs> How you get beat up by a gay nigga and live with yourself after that? So I, you just leave that alone. Yeah, that nigga clicking his nails in your face and everything after the war. Wait, so what's worse though? Getting about- beat up by a gay nigga? Or 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 uh, by pedophile? You been viral? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, 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 I know where you going with that shit, Flacco. I, I, you might want to change the subject, Flacco. Hey, hey, hey. I know. Uh, you you was going to the to, to, to the homie when he got he he, he lost. Oh, 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 oh nah 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 nah. nah. What, what you supposed to say? Hit, hit ball, what man? you supposed to say? Nah. I I I, I but see, but I I both of them is bad, but but man, the pedophile. And that little looking, nigga was like eighteen too, bro. He saw me so like the white boy. That's crazy. Even, you saw me. You saw me for call him a pedophile. So I mean, he eighteen. Why your ball man went too? Now we gonna keep this shit even. Who? Adam. Oh, see. Now, see, if you if you go there, I'm going to just say, you know, the age limit in different states is different. And, and the state in question, 16, is the age, bro. It ain't about integrity all the time. Like, that shit, it when, when it comes to legal, you got to look at what they talking about. All right, bro, it's 35 it states. It definitely you, you could be 16 and legal. Because regardless, if a motherfucker 16 year old or this state say whatever, we still know what a 60 year old mind frame is. So I, I ain't finna argue with no woman. I ain't finna argue with no woman on that it's subject matter. I, I know right where you coming from. I, I No, I say I know where you coming uh, from. I got daughters. But I'm just saying technically. What state was this? I think New Hampshire, but I can't say for sure. I don't know. So I think New Jersey's 16 too. It's a lot of states that I didn't know was 16. It's like 30. 16. It's like 35 of them. See, yeah, I didn't know that. 18 is really a lot rarer than, than we realize, y'all. You know what's crazy though, bro? Right? Mm-hmm. You know what's crazy though, bro? Like, um, like investor tuition, right? Uh-huh. Is a big ex- example, right? Of, of like how, like, if you tell a lie long enough, right? Mm. Well, fuckers will start thinking, and it's the yeah. truth, right? Right? For example, 
is <laughs> here, here, right? Niggas claim, right? Niggas claim, right? That they seen like paperwork, right? Mm -hmm. But if you read what they claim is their proof that that's true, it says nineteen. Mm. So, so where your proof at when you told you told that little little baby the other week? Let's talk wait, about it. Wait, wait huh? Oh, hell, wait, yeah. <laughs> you heard what I, you I, I, bro, you gotta actually speak, my boy. Speak, like what you say? What like, you what mean? He's saying that little saying, baby. Nigga, he said. We came in, lied on my partner. What baby? And what baby? No what on baby? What I'm saying? I'm telling you what I'm saying, bro. Bro, I don't even understand the a rapper's word. Bro, name bro, is Lil bro, Baby. Bro, bro, baby, what? Oh, Lil Baby, the rapper. What about Lil Baby? Huh? Flacco. Oh, now he's saying, huh? Okay. All right, my oh, nigga. Oh, he's talking he about lost that like video. Yeah, now you it's don't know what's going on. Say that, bro. Oh. Oh. Up, please. Oh. Yeah. Bro, oh, yeah. Listen, oh, bro. yeah. Yeah. Oh, what? You got to actually, listen, you got to actually say what you're trying to say, right? <laughs> right? So again. If you're trying to say, hey, bruh, you said that was yeah, little baby like, in that video like, really sucking like, dick, like, bro. Like, then, yeah, when you say, hey, what about baby? What the, how the fuck would I know what you're trying to say? Hey, man, keep okay. up with what you're right, saying. Now we know. Now, 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 now we know. Now we know. What, what happened? Yeah. What you said about little baby? Yeah, so everybody in right? What? We know. It's kind of pissed right, what you say? Go ahead and tell uh, us what I said you don't was you don't for me, that, right? Yeah. Is if I was a betting man that looked like Lil Baby, and I personally but would bet that you know that Lil Baby. What what was in the video? What? Uh, yes, a bro yeah, sucking dick. A uh, what? Yeah, yeah somebody that looked like the nigga uh, somebody that sucking dick. Basically. Oh, this that's fucked up. To pass that around. And you said, what now? If you, if you looked like him or have you seen someone who looked like him, you'd want it too. Stay, you? no. Stay off that gay I side said, of Twitter, hey, listen, Flacco. Man. That's either his twin or that's him. That shit looked, looked, yeah, looked like it. Who it was came out Flacco, and showed the video, you bro. Like, you want to do it. even watch that video nigga pull so up on you, so bro. So yeah, yeah, why you even on that side of Twitter, bro? Stay off that. I watched that bit in slow-mo and fast forward, bro. It looked like that. Hey, I told you that with him, nigga. So what that say about you, nigga? But you trying to pick him up or something? You trying to pick a nigga up for a date or something? Cause women told you that with him, bro. These women didn't no. watch the video, bro. I said that look identical to him and down and, to and the like, earring, down to the ring, me? to yeah, the she earring. Was looking at the yeah, she was looking at the ring. Hey, listen, man. Down to the, the, the yeah. 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 Blanco yeah. might not be talking about his face. I can't hear like, shit. I, 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 hey, listen, man. man. All I, I can tell y'all, bro, is what my one mic though. One mic. I saw he go. He do judging off a jury. No, based on the face. Oh. Which you couldn't see because it has something now, on it. Now, hell, hey, hell, hey, hell no. Nah. Hey, so you can see that face. 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 Y'all tell me that. What straight man would go and check out that video and look at it with his own eye? Uh, one that so one, nigga who thighs, girl. One, well, one, I think the vid, like, popped up in on my timeline accidentally. And by that time, it's already too Why late. Why that shit like, always popping watching. up on your timeline and out your mouth? Why? How that, how that work? Like, would you just program to talk about dick and shit like that? What the fuck? I'm trying to understand. <laughs> it had 13 million views and on the tweet, and it was pretty viral. 